Welcome everyone to Gamer Mode. 2019 is said to be a great year for AMD. From potentially new graphics cards to Ryzen's third generation, the company may hit Nvidia and Intel hard. But if today's first story is accurate, Nvidia may be ready for a comeback pretty soon after. Originally reported by MindNavi and later picked up by Tom's Hardware, it appears Nvidia is in talks with Samsung for their next generation RTX cards, set to launch in 2020. The GPU is based on Samsung's new 7 nanometer EUV process, which started production in October of last year. For those who don't know, their current RTX Turing architecture is based on TSMC's 12 nanometer process, so this would likely be a pretty big leap in performance. Of course, if they stick with the RTX lineup, these cards are likely still going to be quite a bit more expensive than what we were used to from Pascal. Let's just hope they offer the rumored GTX variant on their high end as well as mid to low range cards. Next up for today, Gigabyte RTX 2060 was listed at Canada Computers, a retailer located in, you guessed it, Hawaii. No, no, I'm kidding, it's Canada. The card was listed for 529 Canadian dollars, which equates to about $395 US. So the original leaked price of $350 is likely correct since most cards are leased higher than their MSRP thanks to the flood of buyers so early on. Also, I said was because the original listing seems to have been taken down. This model is the Gigabyte Gaming OC6 Gigabyte. The next story brings us to a trend that I discussed last year would potentially happen, and it has. RAM prices have been falling across the board for a couple months now, and if this story from PC Gamer is correct, we're going to be seeing it drop even more throughout 2019. And that's great news since not too long ago, both SK Hynix and Samsung announced plans to lower their expansion of DRAM for this year. In an interview with Avril Wu, a DRAM exchange analyst stated, quote, even though DRAM manufacturers have revised their 2019 CAPEX downward, slowing down the capacity expansion, we still believe that memory prices would continue to drop in 2019. Particularly, the prices of consumer DRAM would decline by over 20% this year. That's great stuff, and with GPU prices down across the board, it's finally viable to build PCs again. And speaking of PC builds, don't forget to check out the GamerMail Discord server, a great community of enthusiasts that can help you with all your PC questions. Lastly for today, I wanted to do a new segment. You may have heard of it, it's Hardware Highlights, but I'd like to see about implementing it into my usual videos. Basically, it's where I go over some interesting new hardware releases. Let me know what you think about it in the description below. So let's get into it. First, we've got Zotac, who's according to video cards, going to be showing off a new water-cooled Zotac Arctic Storm RTX 2080 Ti. It comes with a 16 plus 4 phase power design for some decent overclocking and RGB with per LED adjustment. I'll definitely say it looks pretty sweet, though the V is eerily similar to Vega's logo. Next is a new ultra, ultra super duper giant wide monitor from Samsung. The CRG9, which launches at CES and confirmed by Samsung, is a 49-inch 5120x1440p display, or basically two 1440p monitors side-by-side -side in a 32 by 9 aspect ratio. It also comes with a 120Hz refresh rate, FreeSync 2 HDR support, and it has a 4 millisecond response time, which tells me it's likely an IPS panel. One sweet feature is that it lets you input two different video sources to the monitor at once. As for price, Samsung will likely announce it at CES, but let's just say I probably can't afford it. I kid, I kid. I definitely can't afford it. So while that does it for today, what was your favorite piece of news? And let me know if you liked the new segment down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please consider helping the channel on Patreon. And as always, have a great day.